problem. I have nowhere to store my clothes. Also, one of my most requested videos is a house tour, but see, I cannot give you a house tour before sorting my life out first. I've been living in this house for two and a half years and I still have boxes I haven't unpacked, clothes I have nowhere to put, stuff I have nowhere to shove in. At the moment, there is just no storage space in this house. None. Zero. Niente. So before I show you the house, we need to get these things in place. The plan. Build a walk-in closet, revamp and get some storage in the bathroom, sort out my DIY room because disaster, save this pantry because it's dying, maybe do something to my bedroom, the poor thing is pretty boring, replace or paint the kitchen, haven't decided yet. Today we're starting out with a walk-in closet. This is the room where I want to build it. For now I have found some temporary solutions with a clothing rack. But I do have a lot more clothes which I can't fit on the rack. So our mission is to have a nice closet that will have space for all my clothes. Step number one, choosing the closet style. I'm trying to find something that will work for me and there are two things that I need to consider. I live in a humid area, so majority of houses have a problem with mold. That's why I want to keep my closet very airy and breathable. I don't want to go for something like this. There's just too much wood and everything is covered up. Instead, I want to be able to see the walls, the floor, so the room can breathe. Another reason why I want to be able to see the walls and floor are cockroaches. Yes, I live in a paradise place, but cockroaches are the reality here and we haven't had many come into the house. Thank you. But a couple per year have come to say hi. That's why I want to keep this place very airy, minimalistic and with not too much furniture. All these things considered, I found the perfect style of walk-in closet for me. Here is the inspiration picture. I think it will look really cool and we already have a carpenter that will build the closet for us. Time to take measurements and then I'll do the drawing. I have my sketches and basically I want to have it like this. Shelves, clothing racks, shelves, drawers and more shelves. Let's pass our vision to the carpenter. Good luck! Now we wait. After a few months, the carpenter has first installed in our walk-in closet, a few months later the storage room and many many months later the pantry. This was a process. It took a while. But hey, we're progressing. Many, many days have passed since the last clip. I mean, it is more than a year later. I know, why? I was busy, the carpenter was super busy, the pandy, you know, time flies. On the last clip, I was literally 33 and now I'm 35. Any new wrinkles? Probably. Anyway, I wanna have my closet finished before I turn 40, so I'm taking things into my own hands. Let me show you the progress so far. We just follow Tandy and she will show us the way. All right, let's go. The walk-in closet is all installed, we're just missing the clothing racks here and here. But yeah, I'm very happy with how it looks, very airy, nice and open. Everything I wanted. But the final step is missing. We gotta paint it and I decided to do it myself. At the end of the day, I'm a DIYer at heart. Now, I know it would be better to first paint the wood and then install it in place, but here, this was just not possible. And that is because this house is a bit circular. It doesn't have that classic rectangle shape. Which means that none of the rooms have a classic rectangular shape either. And many of the adjustments had to be done here on site, so it really fits perfectly. If we would first paint the wood and then try to install it in place, I am sure we would get so many scratches. It just wasn't a great idea. But we haven't just been working on this room the whole year. Here. Also in the room next to it, which is this one, we installed the shelves and this is gonna be the DIY storage filming room. I'm telling you guys, with all the DIY and filming supplies, I need all the storage I can get. Currently my DIY supplies are all sitting here and I can't wait to move it all into the new storage room. Because this room here has so much potential, it has a beautiful view, so much light. It is one of the best rooms in the house and sadly it is looking like this. We need to sort that out. But this is not everything, the past month we've also got shelves installed into our pantry. Yay for pantry organization! Because currently my food storage is looking like that. Very sad. But just as in all other rooms, we still have to paint it. I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm just super excited. Game plan. First, I'm gonna try and clean the walls as much as possible. All these rooms were freshly painted about two years ago, but while they were installing everything in, we got a lot of stains, scratches, pencil drawings on the walls, so I'm gonna do my best to clean that. Then I will give the walls one more coat of paint so it looks all fresh and neat. <laughs> We 
With wood filler paste and a spatula, I'm going to seal some of the imperfections. The carpenter has already done a lot of that, but some spots still need to be touched up. After a day, the paste has dried completely, so let's sand it and make it completely smooth. Okay, that took so much time, especially the cleanup. There was so much dust in here. I was afraid to bring the camera in, so I could not show you, but you have to trust me. It was insane. But anyway, it's finally time to paint the shelves and the walls. I need primer, paint, tools, let's go shopping. Pink. I was having so much trouble deciding what color I should paint the walk-in closet. First I was set on dark blue. My bed is blue and I wanted the bedroom and closet to be kind of cohesive. Then I started thinking that blue would be too dark. How about yellow or even sage green? I love this color. What about leaving the wood exposed and just painting with a stain? After one year of thinking, I decided to go for white. It's classic, it's fresh, I think it's the best idea. And when clothes are inside, everything will look super colorful on its own. So here is my paint and tools haul. Now let's get to work hi guys it's me again a few weeks later and we're still here <gasps> First of all, excuse the outfit, it is still super early. I just wasn't able to fall asleep last night. I was thinking, I was in my head and I figured, I don't know if it was a great idea that I paint all of this. Because as you can see, it's two weeks later and this has just been chilling. I was thinking that somehow if I just leave the shelves here, maybe they will paint themselves. They didn't do it. Rude. There's just so many shelves and to paint also the walls. And you cannot just paint it once, like you have to first put the primer and then two coats and then you have to protect everything. <sighs> I'm exhausted just thinking about it and I have been super busy the past two weeks. So the more I think about it, the more I feel like I should hire a professional. I think we need a painter to do this for us. It is just so difficult to find a good person to do that. But I'm gonna have to trust the process because otherwise this will never be finished. You guys saw in one of my previous videos the situation with my clothes. I can't live like this anymore. Come on. It's been too long. Anyway, I just thought I'm gonna update you with how things stand right now and uh, they stand. Oh yeah. They're not moving on. I just needed to update you guys that I bailed out, that I am a flop. So yeah, the adventure continues. Guys, an update. The painters are here and they're doing such a great job. I'm so excited. Don't mind my hair, I just washed it. I know I look crazy, but... So yeah, I think in a few days they're gonna be done and I'm gonna have my closet back soon. Hey guys, it's a week later, the painters did an awesome job, but here and there there were still some streaks visible, so I applied another coat of paint in some areas, left it to dry and we are ready for the final reveal. Come on! Ta-da! My walk-in closet all white like a pretty snowflake. Well, unfortunately, we're not completely done yet, but we are at 99%. The only thing missing are the clothing racks, and you would be surprised how difficult it is to find nicer clothing racks. We checked the nearby stores, we checked the internet, and they all just offered very basic and pretty max solutions, which is kind of confusing because every closet, every wardrobe needs clothing racks. I thought there would be so much choice. But no. But that's okay because at the end we managed to find something that we liked but we had to order it from another country and this takes time. So we are waiting but I think we'll be here any day now and when they arrive we're gonna be organizing this together plus the storage room plus the pantry. So stay tuned. 